the sensible thing now um, is to have a, an investigation which we put everything out there and in which in a way the politicians explain their problems when they're dealing with incredibly powerful media people. The media you know, have got to be allowed to carry on being free and independent and vigorous and investigative in a proper way and we work out that relationship between the media and the, and the politicians and public life and four years ago, just over four years ago, before I left office as Prime Minister, I made a speech all about this, um, for which I may say I didn't get much support at the time. But this is a major issue. And incidentally, it's not just a big issue for, for, for Britain. The result of the changes in the way the media works today, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you've got all the blogs and new social media, the media is operating in a revolutionary new environment. The politicians, you know, we can't get our message across except through you guys. You know, I, I'm communicating with people now through you. That depends on how you ask me the questions. It depends on what your editor decides to put across in the interview. So I think the sensible thing is get it all out and let's have an honest debate about this. I've, I've wanted this for a long time because I think most of us who've been at the top in public life over the last few decades have been uncomfortable with this relationship and the way it works. Um, and therefore, we should explain you know, what our needs are and what our issues are and the media should do the same and then let's see if, you know, I, I don't know exactly what the outcome of all this can be, but at least I think the first step in it is to have the debate in an open, frank and, and, and clear way. Have you any reason to believe or concerns that your phones were hacked or your, the phones of your family? You know, I mean, I don't know is the short answer. Uh, so far as I'm concerned, um, and I don't know who decided this, but whoever it was, I thank them for it. I never had a mobile phone or a BlackBerry before I left office, so uh, you know, I really don't know is the answer, but, but um, it seems a bit unlikely in my particular case.